there is so much more to learn about typography. I recommend starting with the exercises in this series to build your skills and deepen your practice. I want to leave you with three challenges. First, do the exercises that we've gone through together 10 times. See how it feels. You could try making a habit out of it, where you do each exercise once a day for 10 days. Every time you go through what feels like the same simple exercise again and again, you're growing. And that's what it's about, right? It's not about the outcome in these exercises. It's about growth through practice. So every time you spend a few minutes on an exercise, that's a win. You should feel great about that. Challenge number two, two. <laughs> Practice different ways of looking, right? So when you've gone through an exercise, you have a few different attempts and it's time to judge them and look at them next to each other, right? Try these different strategies of doing that. Compare two options by putting them side by side. Compare two options by toggling them. Step back a bit and study your work from a distance. Turn it upside down so it's harder to read and that'll help you make visual judgments. Squint at it, study it more abstractly. Wait a few minutes or even a few days and come back with fresh eyes or get feedback. Ask friends or colleagues what they think about it. And challenge number three, try putting it all together. Use the example project to start with some typography that needs a little fixing up do the same exercises we did today to make improvements. This can get really interesting. And you'll start to notice new connections, like how shaping body text affects proximity, or how alignment gets more complicated when there are more elements. You might even start to notice connections between text and other non-text shapes and spaces. Don't worry if you can't immediately fix something up and make it look better. Just like any craft, Typography takes practice, so acknowledge the time that you put into practicing and appreciate how you feel about learning. I'm glad you're here, and I look forward to our next lessons together on choosing good fonts for body text and UI, creating expressive type palettes, and unlocking secret font features that make typography look amazing. Keep practicing. Stay sharp.